Well, it's a horror that no one can imagine living through, but it's exactly the situation that Kendall Cummings and Brady Lowry found themselves in on Saturday when they were attacked by a grizzly bear. In that moment, they had no choice but to act, and those actions and the actions of those around them saved their lives. Tonight, MTN's Haley Monaco sat down with the two men and their two friends who were back in Powell, Wyoming, as they reflect on a moment and day they'll never forget. It's a grizzly bear attack survival that's drawn national attention. But what makes their story different is the friendship behind this band of brothers, never leaving a man behind. I had to get it off. I had to do something. I couldn't watch my friend get tore up right in front of me. When the four wrestling teammates at Northwest College decided to head to the Bobcat Houlihan Trail for some shed hunting Saturday, they never expected the turn it would take. We probably got five or six miles back in and it was getting a little late. We found a couple sheds, you know, all of us found a couple, and we're there, and we decide it's time to turn around and go back to the truck. That's when the group separated, and the horror began. Kendall Cummings and Brady Lowry traveled together and were apart from the other two. Looked over at Kendall, and he was probably only 15 yards away from me, and I was like, dude, there's bear sign everywhere. And right after I says that, when the crashing started happening in the trees, like the only thing I even had time to say was, bear, bear. That's when a grizzly bear started immediately attacking Lowry, knocking him off a small ledge, leaving Cummings above the grizzly and his friend. It's gnawing on me. I threw up my arm to protect the first initial bite, and its bite broke my arm, and it was throwing, kind of just throwing me around down there, doing whatever. I was helpless. And that helpless moment is when his friend jumped into action, first by yelling and throwing anything he could find at the bear. Nothing was working. The bear was just focused on Brady, and it was getting Brady. And So I eventually got down there right up next to him, and I grabbed the bear and pulled him off of Brady. And the bear kind of looked at me and, and took me out onto the ground and started attacking me. Lowry got up and ran to call 911, but Cummings didn't know that and called out to make sure his teammate was okay. But when I called out to Brady, I think the bear knew that I was still in the area and I was still a threat, so it came back around and it got me again. While the attacks were happening, August Harrison and Orrin Jackson had lost sight of their friends and were completely unaware of what was happening. We finally get to the bottom of the basin and we when we finally found them, that's when Brady was coming down the mountain yelling for help. They finally got what I was saying to them and kind of hustled up to where I was at. And we were probably 100, 150 yards below where we got attacked by the bear. We thought Kendall was dead, really. And we were honestly prepared to go up there and find his body. But he wasn't dead. He went limp and believes that is why the bear left him alone. He then got up and started walking down the mountain. And I got about halfway before I could hear August yelling at me and I kind of yelled back and uh, then we linked up and they got me off the mountain. The fight was far from over. The young men still had to make their way to a hospital. With the help of local farmers and a side-by-side, -side, the teammates made it to the trailhead. When I was riding in that side-by-side, -side, it was I was cold and that's when it started to hit me that I'd been attacked and I, I need some serious help. Once at the trailhead, the party met up with local search and rescue. Cummings was immediately life flighted to a Billings hospital and Lowry was later transported by ambulance. It's an experience that one can only describe as a miracle. I think, you know, every one of them, and I'm sure Kendall does too, and boy, really it was a miracle that everything was a miracle, the whole story. I'm just glad they're both out now and we can be together again. The good news? The young men anticipate getting back on the mat eventually. This time with a connection stronger than ever before. In Powell, Haley Monaco, MTN News.